And we're back with some big news out of Annapolis today. Maryland now the first in the country to create a service year for high school graduates to serve their community and earn money for college. Tom Fitzgerald was there for the big ceremony. He's live in Tacoma Park. Governor Wes Moore had campaigned on this idea, and now it's a reality. That's right, Jim. You know, even before he was elected last four, Wes Moore said he wanted to be known as the service governor. And in signing the Serve Act into law today, the governor says that he hopes that this will compel young people in Maryland to care about their communities by caring for their community. We aren't telling our young people how to serve. We're just asking them to serve. That you can serve in conservation, you can serve in education, you can serve in housing, you can support our veterans, you can serve in reentry work for folks returning from incarceration. It is completely your choice. Now, how this will work is that Maryland high school graduates will be able to apply to the program, and if accepted, they will be able to serve in areas of their choosing. Things like literacy, conservation, serving veterans, or recently released people who had been incarcerated. The goal of all this is to earn thousands of dollars for their college graduation after completing the program of service. Paul Montero is the new Secretary of Service and Civic Innovation in Maryland. He spoke to Fox 5 today. There'll be an application process, uh, and then they'll be assigned to a, a, a site for the year, assigned a mentor, and given professional development, paid $15 an hour. And at the end of their term of service, they'll be given $6,000 towards a college education uh, if they choose to go that path. Some people may go directly into the workforce. The new budget that was signed into law today puts aside $13.17 million to launch both the new department and the serve program. They expect to launch this September with about 200 program volunteers. However, they hope to have that up to 2,000 within the next four years. We're live in Tacoma Park tonight. We'll send it back into you. Fitz, thanks. That's the topic of our Fox 5 Live Info question tonight. Will the Serve Act boost community engagement after high school graduation? 84, 83% of you are pessimistic about it. 17% of you like the idea. You can vote by scanning the QR code on your screen or go to the Fox 5 News app or fox5dc.com.